Hey guys, JC Smith here. Uh, I want to show you a set of tools I just bought. Um, I bought them and I've used them on one F250 now. So now that I've used it once, I thought I'd uh, tell you a little bit about it. Um, I ordered this off Tooltopia. Um, they had the best price on it. Um, and what it is, it's OTC's 6539. This is the truck master ball joint service kit now it does all the ball joints in trucks now they're according to the application guide this is it shows f-150 through well your half tons your light duty small trucks all the way up to the 550s um, I don't think it does straight axle I'm not sure if it does king pins or not I don't remember seeing that in here. I think the, let me see, I think the highest it goes on GM is one ton. Yeah, 3,500 full address. So it'll do one ton of GM, but it does the Fords up to 550s. Make sure I'm telling you correctly. Yeah, it does the Fords, yeah, here you go. It does Ford up to Jeez, nothing wants to focus anymore. Up to the 550s, two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive because they're both straight axles in those. And in the Chevys, we go to 3500. So, um, pretty nice, complete setup. It comes with this guide that, let's see, I'll just show you. Let me just show you the page where I was at. Okay, so I was doing it on a 2008 to 2010 truck which 8 to 10 is the same nothing changed there on a on the uh, f350 or 450 or 550 anyways um so it tells you which adapters you need what cup what sleeve and all the attachments and then it actually was i find found pretty helpful um you could figure this out on your own as we always have with you know hammer and sockets and or a press or whatever but it'll actually tell you the removal procedure in order so you take out the right ball joint at the right time and you put in the right ball joint at the wrong, right time so you're not fumbling around. I found that pretty helpful. Um, I did the truck we just did again I think it was a 2010 F250 and we did all the ball joints on both sides and we did all the axle joints and um, all the seals replaced the Hub bearings outside, you know, basically went through and rebuilt it all, put, put all new, six new seals in, and uh, all that kind of crap. But this is how it comes, and it tells you what parts you need, what tools, and I'm going to show up here. Yeah, there you go. So all the part numbers are engraved on every single piece, and then there's actually a diagram to layout of the case so that you know where it is there's that one we just had 555380 now everything white on here we have that came with the kit everything shaded are things that you could add later if you wanted to um, if you needed it for that application and it lists what those tools are designed for in the book which we don't need it um, we got the truck service kit so then this is the other side man I should wipe that off okay so then this is the master set the main set I guess you'd call it so we have the big press the seat press we like that pretty well and then again all the adapters and cups now this is a pretty heavy set I mean this is not a light case that's for sure um, but like I said it worked very well like forever when we did ball joints in these trucks we're using a small press or trying to fumble around getting everything set up just right this was so much faster I did the ball joints in one side took them apart and put the other ones back in I had less than an hour in it so I mean after the spindle was out you understand I'm not talking about taking it off the truck but once I had the spindle apart I could actually push all the the ball joints out and push the new ones in in less than an hour and everything was ready to go back together so pretty nice set 
if you guys are gonna do any work on trucks I I've wanted one of these for a while I just don't want to spend the money for it because I guess I'm just too cheap but, uh, it comes in the two cases you buy them as one there's the number 6539 um, there's probably there may be better places out there to get this kit for a better price but it came with free shipping and I want to say it was right at $800 for that set so um, I'll get my $800 worth out of that no problem whatsoever now the other thing in order was since we we're doing Ford Super Duties with automatic vacuum hubs is this little tool here this is designed to set the outside seals in the hubs at the exact distance the depth it's supposed to be without damaging them. There's a lot of videos out there where you can make this out of PVC pipe or galvanized or whatever and um, you know I just didn't want to go that way. Um, and make a tool for it. It works well. There's a part number on it too. There you go. 6697. And this fits super duties. Um, Ford front axle shaft seal installer 05 and newer with vacuum operated front axle um, it doesn't list the 450s and 550s and I don't know if it fits it or not but I'll check that out because I do have a, a 450 and a 550 that has vacuum operated hubs that we can work on but uh, again this was a few things I picked up because it just made it made the job so much easier um, and you know really you can save money and not buy the stuff um, and you may be able to do it and take the same amount of times it takes me to use this you might be faster than me but uh, for me you know I've been waiting and wanting and watching and thinking and um, I finally pulled the trigger on it and ordered it and I'm pretty pleased with it yeah it worked out I, it was very very simple it was not difficult to find the pieces it wasn't difficult to set it all up I read over it briefly like 10 seconds you know just real quick through what it told me to do I grabbed the parts and it worked very well so anyways if you guys are looking for it I like it uh, they didn't send it to, to me for free of course I paid for it um, but that's a good tool and this uh, well, that worked out perfect uh, the seals were put in exactly where they needed to be the depth was perfect everything went together like it should be so there you go guys um, that's all I got for you now the OTC um, truck master ball joint service kit 6539 if you guys want one one more thing like I always say if you like what we're doing give us these thumbs up we appreciate it and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button we'll catch you guys in the next one